when you're cutting firewood especially really hard timber like these logs they've been standing dry timber for years some of these I think one of them actually has been dead for probably 13 years standing as a dry log so really really hard now all the moisture is gone it's really hard timber and what happens is that it doesn't take very long for the edge on the uh, chain to really go and the saw needs to be resharpened because cutting with a blunt saw after all you're simply wasting a lot of fuel and your own energy cutting dry logs like this of course is very slow in terms of the cutting because it's so hard but it gives me the advantage that because it's already cracked up and dry it actually splits really quite easily and is going to be ready to burn early uh, I don't have to store it to dry for a long period of time because it's already dried standing up for years I worked with hand sharpening and had a lot of failure a lot of dissatisfaction and I learned from that eventually what I needed to do and I thought I'd share that experience with you so that hopefully you wouldn't repeat my mistakes what I found when I hand sharpened was that I could never master the art of getting the angles right and I'd end up very quickly with a saw that wanted to cut circles and I'm sure you've experienced that rather than cut straight but I could only remedy this when I then actually sent the chain off to be professionally sharpened it would come back like new and again I would be cutting fine I did at one stage buy a electric sharpening tool just a cheap one but when it actually arrived I looked at it and it looked so flimsy that I thought how could this ever sharpen a chain accurately and give a good result so I just put it on the shelf and forgot about it for a couple of years but after seeing someone else sharpening a chain with a very similar sharpener to the one I had purchased and doing it quite successfully I thought I should give this another go so I fastened it to a piece of board so that it would be more firm the way it's really designed to be and because I don't use it all the time I mean it's only in firewood season that I get it out and sharpen chains I simply clamp it to the bench and it's then ready for me to use I have found that the results even though you think oh, is this really going to work have been fantastic while you still you do have to take the chain off the saw and that's a little bit more time the result is so much better than doing it by hand I don't get the circle effect anymore I get it right the first time it cuts fast it cuts straight if your chain is not seriously damaged and is just slightly losing the edge and you simply need to touch it up you don't need to put much you need to just touch it with the stone and just put that tiny little bit of edge but if you have considerable damage on your chain you then need to find the most damaged tooth and adjust it to actually cut that one to the correct length and then do all the others the same that can take a fair bit of meat off your chain but your result will be a much better balanced chain that will cut really really well so yeah my advice really is it is worth buying one of these cheap electric sharpeners they will do a reasonable job despite your first impressions I'm sure if you pay more and get a better quality one you'll get a better tool that will look better and do a probably a better job but this still is really really good and I'm really amazed that for I think it was just about forty dollars or something like that that this tool actually sharpens so well and saves me so much pain so much effort 